Now we're going to box this so that we can pour the base. There are other ways to do this, there, are, but I'm not going to go into those right now. We're going to go ahead since we're just doing one or two models. We're going to box them and pour the base the way the the way we do here. All right, and start out with rope wax to go all the way around the, the cast. Put the center in. Finish it off with the boxing wax. Right? Start out by making your rope wax pliable. Soften it up a little bit so that it bends around the little corners. Okay, I'm going to make this flush with the edge. I'm going to start at the center, okay, and I want to go right to basically the top, the flat surface, as carefully as I can. If you soften your wax and it's pliable, you should be able to adapt it pretty nicely. Okay, so it's flush. I don't want any of the sides of this exposed. Okay, now I can take and seal it from this edge. I'm not answering that either. With a, can I do this to a wet model? No, you can't do this to a wet model because the wax won't stick to a wet model. Your model's got to be dry. So you can you can try and dry it with an air hose and and that'll work sometimes. But if it's the model is really soaking wet, the wax won't stick. So get your number forty-five wax spatula really hot. Okay, and we're going to seal it from this side because I don't want any wax on the surface the undersurface of this where we're going to pour our stone. If I have any wax on here, it makes a void in the base. And then we can't tell if things are seeding all the way. We don't want any voids in the base. So that side has to stay nice and clean. Okay. So now we're sealed all the way around. I got no wax on here. Okay. Sometimes you can put a Another piece of rope wax across the back here. Uh, it's not necessary. The piece that we cut out is going to sit right on top of here. Okay, like that. So it's actually seating, sitting up. Okay, the rope wax is flush. This needs to sit on top of it. And that provides us with some extra room for sawing. So when we're sawing out the die, the tip of the saw is not running into the center. So I'm going to seal that down. So that looks like that. Now we can just go around it with our boxing wax. Okay. Same thing, I'm going to soften this wax up so it adapts, so that it'll bend properly and make things a lot easier. sure that the walls are coming straight up and I'm going to seal it down. Sorry. So I'm tipping this so that the wax doesn't run onto my stone base. And for good measure, if you want to, you can go ahead and seal it from the tooth side. But try not to get wax, wax on your teeth. 
but if you if you sealed it good from the other side you should be fine okay so I get all done it should look like that then once you spray the super sap on here right before you pour the stone in or 20 seconds before you pour your stone in we'll pour the stone right up to the edge of the black caps and if you get a little bit over that's okay just take your finger and wipe off to expose where the caps are and then your bases will be poured and done.